Hi everybody, welcome to this new video for the Gen AI Nurse channel. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use the new skill tool in Cloud AI to transform an academic paper in less than five minutes, fully automatically in a fully fledged PowerPoint presentation using the branding style of your university. So what I first will do is to briefly explain what you need to start building skills in Cloud AI. Then I will show you how you can build skills by means of prompting. And finally, then I will demonstrate how you can leverage these skills for transforming an academic paper into a full-fledged PowerPoint presentation. So let's get started. So if you want to use this skill capability in Cloud AI, what you need is first of all a pro account. Yeah? So you need at least to have a pro account. That means the 15 euro per month account. That's what you really need. And then you can start building skills. Now, how can you do that? So let me go to my Cloud AI. Yes, so the first thing you will do is to go to your settings. So I will go here to my settings and then you can go to capabilities. And here, if you scroll down, you will see skills. And as mentioned, of course, I have now already built some skills which are enabled, but there are also some standard skills that Claude has already created. And actually for being kind of productive in creating your own skills, it's good to enable the artifacts builder, uh, canvas design, definitely the skill creator. That's actually a skill that will allow you to create skills. So this is a very important one. And I also enabled the team factory, which will make it easy to kind of customize your skills. So these are skills that you have to enable. And when we have done that, then we are ready to start creating a skill. Now, what did I do in order to kind of be able to transform an academic paper into a PowerPoint presentation following the branding of my university? I've built two different skills. So one skill that I have built is a skill that allows to transform a paper into a slide presentation following a structure that I have defined. And a second skill that I have developed is to learn Cloud how to use the branding style of my university, giving it a template as an example from which it can learn. So I will now briefly show you how I've built these two skills. So here you can see the prompt that I've used to build the skill to transform a paper into a presentation. And so I simply have kind of stipulated what I want to do here. So I say, look, I want to create a new skill, which is able to transform academic paper into a professional academic 50 minute PowerPoint presentation. The user will provide a Word document or PDF. The skill should get a deep understanding of the paper and subsequently provide a PowerPoint presentation with the following structure. Yeah, so I have really defined the structure here saying you need to have a title slide, slide for the research object objective, slide for literature background, and we can even go down, slide for hypothesis section if it's a quantitative paper, some slides for the methodology section. Yeah, so here I simply stipulated what we normally do when creating a PowerPoint for our academic paper. Yeah, so this is the prompt that I provided. And but the fact that I say create a new skill, Claude will imme immediately enable this skill creator skill that it already has to build a new skill. And then you simply have to wait for a while. Then it really starts thinking, executing steps. So here you can see a bit what it's doing, uh, but this it will do fully autonomously. And in the end, it will create for you a kind of document. And uh, let me go down here that you can see it. So at the very end, we will see a document that we can download. Here we are. Uh, so here is then the skill that we can download and then you simply have to press download and then this skill will be in your download folder and then we have to go back to our settings and go back to capabilities and then we can upload this download here by doing upload skill so then you just have to press upload skill and upload this uh, skill that you have been able to download here and then you're ready then you have created a new skill and you can see I now already have the skill here. So here is my academic paper presenter skill. Yeah. Now, very briefly, what is actually happening in the background here? So what Claude is actually doing is to write very extensive instructions 
about what it should do. And every time then when you use the skill, Claude will read these extensive instructions. That's actually what is happening in the background here. Then a second skill that I have built is a skill to kind of learn how to use the brand style of my university when creating presentations. Yeah, and same logic, so I simply enabled a new chat and then I prompted again, create a new skill that is able to add the WAO brand style to artifacts, documents and presentations. In order to do so, scan the attached document to create a library of logos, layouts, font styles that align with the WAO branding. The skill should be able to add particular features to a document to make aligned with the overall WAO branding. And so then I simply uploaded as a file the master template that I have from my university with all kinds of the, the typical branding of my university. Uh, typically every university or every company will have this kind of thing. And then again, the same logic, then it has actually starting building a skill. And again, quite an extensive steps it has taken. And in the end, it then created for me some downloadable files. And here it actually created multiple files, but here, because it created multiple files, I needed this zip file to download called the WAO brand styler. So, or you need to download a skill file or a zip folder in which there will be multiple files. So then I had to download this and then again, go to my settings, to my capabilities and upload this zip folder and then the capabilities ready. Yeah, so this is how I easily, oh, you see, you don't need any coding or something like that, how I've easily built two skills that I can now use in other prompts. And maybe just to briefly show you what is here actually in the background. So if you then open up these skill files, you will actually see that these are simply text files with very extensive descriptions of what Claude needs to do when using a certain skill. So let me briefly show you the example here. Yeah, so this is then actually the skill text file that will be in this zip folder. And as you can see, it is simply a very long text description with instructions on how to apply the WAO branding style. Yeah? So actually it's simply kind of a very long text file that it will use as context. And this is actually related to what we call nowadays context engineering. So you feed this kind of agentic tools, a lot of context so that they can execute activities for you following the instructions in the context. So that's actually what is happening here in the background. So let us now move uh, to showing how I can use the skills that I've created to transform an academic paper into a PowerPoint presentation. Yes, yeah, so now I will show you how I have actually applied these skills and it's actually very straightforward. So what I did was I created a new chat. I uploaded my paper. In this case, I used the paper that I already published in the past. And then I simply wrote the prompt, use the academic paper presenter. Yeah, so one of these skills to transform the provided paper into a WHO branded presentation. Yeah, so in the prompt, I explicitly refer to the two skills that I have built. And in that way, Claude will know, okay, I'm expected to use these two different skills to execute this task. And then it will start working on the task. And again, this will take some time. And you see here it executing 10 different steps, then it moves further. And then here for actually creating the presentation, it actually did 72 steps. Yeah, so this will actually also consume quite some tokens. Um, so th that's kind of the disadvantage here that when you use an uh, account like I have the 19 euros that quite quickly you will run through uh, your limits uh, quite quickly. So that's a bit the disadvantage. But in the end, uh, then it says, look, your presentation is ready. And then you get here a downloadable PowerPoint file. So now I can actually download that one. And we can take a look at how it's uh, how it looks like. Yes, and this is now the file that I could download. And so you can see it's a fully fledged PowerPoint presentation. And actually the style is indeed very close to the style of my university. It's not exactly the same, but for me, definitely close enough. So let me now go to presentation mode that we can really see it very well. So indeed, I will have a title slide, a slide with the research gap. Uh, some literature background, something about the approach that we did for this paper, which was actually a conceptual paper. Here you see some small mistakes. So this is something that I will have to 
still a dress, yeah? So it's not 100% perfect. Here I kind of the text is double so that I need still to fine tune. Yeah, but here core findings, this is exactly the core findings that we have. Uh, so perfectly here, very nice uh, slide with the two trajectories that we identified in the conceptual paper. So also in terms of content, it's actually a very good summary of the paper that we have written. So this could be definitely a very good starting point for a uh, PowerPoint presentation about this paper. I will have to do some final fine tuning, for instance, to solve this small problem. But apart from that, to be honest, it's almost ready to go. So I hope this was uh, interesting for you to see how you can use this skill tool in cloud AI. I think this is a very powerful tool and I think we are just at the beginning of this. I'm also sure that in the short term, for instance, also OpenAI will launch something similar because this is extremely powerful. I think the only disadvantage is a bit that it's very uh, token intensive. Yeah, so you will have to consume a lot of tokens, uh, which also you can also have ethical concerns uh, because you will consume quite some energy. But at least from a kind of functional perspective to think about how can I leverage AI really to help me to automate activities, I think this is a lot of potential. So I hope this was interesting for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you, you like this video and thanks for your attention. Bye.